right, so this is my follow-up video to New Fish, because I ran out of memory while I was making the New Fish video, so this is the follow-up to it. Um, today I got seven New Fish, of them being five of those and two of those, because I had four of those, they're Black Phantom Tetras, I had four of them um, in this 10-gallon when it was set up differently. And I bought them rather small because I wanted them to fit in the 10-gallon. And um, so when I put them in here with the bumblebee catfish that was in there, one got eaten. And so then the other three started to get all rowdy and territorial and try and bite each other's fins off for some reason, or at least that's how it came off. And so uh, I went and got two new ones, of them being that one, and he was rather big and cool-looking. And I think maybe that no, I had that one. Okay, that one. There we go. He had like amazing color. I was just like flipping shit. It was really, really a good fish. And then I got five of the Sepra Tetras or Red Minor Tetras if you go to PetSmart, which is the only place I go. Um, <clears throat> but I got them and. I have a lot of snails now on the front of this for some reason, but um, I'm really happy to have them now because now this tank is pretty much fully stocked, except for some angelfish I'll be getting after the winter because I have somebody who's bringing me angelfish because he doesn't have room for them at the end of the winter. So that's about it. I'm, I set up this tank because Tomorrow, I am getting a crap load of stuff. I'm getting, like, a bunch of Endler, catch, Endler Guppies. That's what they are. I'm getting a bunch of those, a bunch of red cherry shrimp, and a bunch of plants. So I set this up so I could keep those in there while I do maintenance on this tank and get ready to set up that tank. Um, excuse the mess. <laughs> So, that's about all I have for updates, you know, I put a dwarf sage in there because it was doing absolutely nothing in a different tank, I put a two or three jungle valves in there because they were just sitting in the back of this tank doing absolutely nothing, um, oh, and I'll also be getting a new light, like, uh, one that is good for plants, so maybe my... Stargrass and Jungle Val will stop looking so shitty. Because they look really shitty. <laughs> um, you know, I'm trying to think of a good aquascape for this. Because I started out, I had this big old root piece. Of, it was a piece of some roots from a neighbor's tree. I had them across the top there and they just looked awesome. But then it began to rot, and it began to smell, and then my parents got mad at me, and then I just got disgusted by it, so I threw it away. And then, um, I had this statue in there, it was actually a whiskey bottle that looks like, um, a giant statue, and I thought it was amazing, and I put it in here, and because of the lights, it reflected off that thing and gave, like, the entire tank this really ugly, gross, yellow tinge to it, and I was... I didn't want that in there, so I took it out, and uh, I put on this piece of driftwood that I literally found at the park by my house. I find a lot of great driftwood there, so, you know, if anybody's watching from the SFAAS um, forums, and if you want driftwood for freshwater aquariums, I know where to get a lot of it. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of a good aquascape for it though. I'll I'll see what I can do once I get some plants tomorrow and plants on Friday because I don't know what to do. I know for a fact that I want to put a nice little piece of Anubius in that little crack right there so it just grows out and gets all kick ass and such, you know. Just It, it would just look awesome. Um, I have some rocks that I brought back from a lake cabin that I could put in here, but I don't know what the heck I'd 
where the heck I'd put them, and, um, that's about it at the moment. That's all I can find to talk about. Jungle Valley.